All right, people, uh, we have a 2009 Toyota Camry. Uh, this is pretty common for the 07 through 11 Toyota Camrys. Um, when you use your uh, keyless remote here to pop your trunk, then your trunk doesn't want to latch shut again. We'll show you an example. Okay, trunk's open. Now you go to close your trunk and it won't shut. Um, one of two things I've learned is if you don't want to buy a part from Amazon to fix it, you can manually do this, but you're going to have to do it every single time. You pop these little plastic covers off, put your fingernail underneath them, and... Ouch. You just pull the center of the clip out pops out. I got a couple of them pulled off. You can see there's one pulled off there, there, here, and here. There's a total of four of them I pulled off. Once you get back to here, here's your mechanism. When you first look at it, there's a plastic cover over the whole thing. Whoops. When the plastic covers over it, you pull from the back side first. You got to pull kind of hard. It'll pop. And it'll slide off. <clears throat> okay. If you leave your trunk like this every time, if you look in here, there's a spring in here. The spring wears out over time. This car has roughly 100,000 miles on it. Um, every time, if you do this and then this, it will latch. But... The correct way to do it is to replace the latch itself. Same thing, I use the remote, now it's not going to shut. Flip this forward, flip this back, and it will latch. So if you don't want to buy the part and do that every single time, there is a way to kind of fix it. I mean, it's going to continue to work for you but i'm going to show you the correct way and actually replace the part the part wasn't expensive i ordered it off amazon and showed up in two days and we're going to actually replace it so it's actually fixed fixed real simple all you're going to need is a ratchet for the 10 millimeter There's one there. There's one on this side. <clears throat> I'm just going to do this a little bit quicker. One of them's out. other ones out. Now the whole mechanism is loose, but you have this metal rod. Follow the rod. Rod comes over here to the little plastic clip. If you can see this, here's the clip. All I'm going to do is unclip it. I just pulled this this direction. Now the rod comes straight out of there, drops down, it's loose. Way over here there's an electric Clip, push the little tab. Oh. Easier said than done. Hold on just a second. All right, I was able to push this uh, the center tab in. Was able to and then unplug it. Okay, now you have the latch and this metal rod. Just pull the whole assembly out with the rod attached. This is what you got. 
That's the old part. Here is our new part. I will have a, uh, a link to where I bought it off of Amazon in the description below. And this is what we're going to be installing. Give me just a second. What we're going to do is we're going to unclip this metal rod and we're going to switch this metal rod from the old one to the new one. Give me just one second. Alright, I was able to um, unclip this little metal, I'm sorry, this plastic bracket from the metal rod. It was over here, this is the old one, this is the new one. Once you pull the metal rod out, there's a little plastic clip that you want to transfer from here. To Once you transfer the uh, plastic clip out of the old one to the new one, then you just put the metal rod back into it, slide the clip over, it'll latch back into place. Here's our new assembly. Um, pop this plastic cover off. Okay. Now to go to install it back in the vehicle. Make sure the metal rod goes in this hole. Slide the metal rod over that direction. Pushing the latch back up into here. I'm going to go ahead and start our bolts. just temporarily hold this in place okay, it's temporarily just going to stay there for right now get the metal rod over here the center of the metal rod goes in the hole. See this? Push the clip. Now it's back in place. Get this electronic plug. That's plugged in. Now we just gotta tighten these bolts. Here's like we're bolted in, plugged in, rods attached. Now let's give this a try before we put it all the way back together. We're shut. We're open. Then we're shut again. Now just to finish up. Plastic cover goes on. Slide this side on first. Backside latches. That's all there is. And then we're just going to put these plastic. Here, take your safe. Take this little safety lever. Push it through this slide. The slide here in the carpet. <clears throat> And then we're just going to put these little clips back in. Once they're in, you just push them. Simple as that. There's a couple of them to do. I think there's four of them that I took out. Base goes in first. Push it in. That's all there is to them. 
one more time we'll give it a try I'd say it's fixed I'll have the uh, link in the description below to the uh, part that I ordered um, wasn't that expensive and hopefully this fixes your 07 through 11 Toyota Camry thanks for watching